Hello everybody, in this tutorial I want to demonstrate the updated animation editor functionality. In the previous version the animation editor could only be used to uh, freeze the animations of an object, uh, so that meant that the geometry would be fixed at the frame uh, you selected and then the animations uh, would be removed. But I've now made the tool a little bit more flexible and that's what I'm going to demonstrate. So let me load an object uh, with some animations one of my test objects with animations is not really pretty but as you see it has some rotating and translating uh, boxes so if we now go to the animation editor which is here at the uh, top uh, toolbar you'll see how the new dialog looks and uh, you can do a number of things here at the top you have a list of all the animations in the object and you see they have checkboxes in front of them. With those checkboxes you can select which animations are active at the moment. So if I for example untick this one here and then I will move the slider. Uh, you see the slider here just the same as the slider up there. Only those two boxes are moving but this one that was rotating before is, no, is not rotating. And if I invert the selection, now that one is rotating again, but those others are not. So with this you can select which animation should be shown in the, in the preview and all the other animations are kept static. So that uh, will make it easier, especially on complex objects, to see how your animation is behaving. So for an aircraft you might only uh, want to view the landing gear for example. So that's one part you can do. Uh, something else you can do, I uh, already showed here that you have the slider and you can select the frame. But with this, uh, let me first select all animations again. Uh, sometimes when you have a long and complex animation, the slider is not uh, really accurate. So you might only want to view uh, a subset of the animation. So if I set here, uh, put here the minimum frame is 40 and the maximum is 60. Then, with the slider, I only control that section of the animation, so only from frame 40 to frame 60. And if I press play now, it will only loop that section of the animation. Uh, so that will make it easier for you to view uh, a subset of the animation. So that's mainly for the viewing. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the animation editor already had the functionality to freeze or fix animations uh, which means the animation is removed and the geometry is fixed at the frame that you specify well that functionality is still here which is this button uh, let me just demonstrate it I untick the first two animations and I only keep uh, let me reset this one to the original extent um, and let's say I want to have that rotational box like this I press this button you see the list of animations is now shorter and if I select all animations animate them you see the box is now frozen I can do the same let's say I want that top box uh, at that height above the other one so I do fix animation and now we only have this animation left uh, so this functionality is useful as before if you want to convert an aircraft into a static for example and you want to make sure that the landing gear is always uh, extended, uh, maybe the door is open and all the other animations are removed. So that's a quick overview of what you can do with the updated animation editor. Uh, let me finish by saying that I know there are some areas where improvements can be made. Uh, the most obvious one is the name of the animations, which is currently a bit cryptical and it shows the uh, GUID from the model dev uh, XML file. So I'm going to try to replace that with the readable name of the animation soon, since that will make it a lot easier to pick uh, the right type of animations. But that's something for a future update. Thank you for watching.